the day. Yeah, 2,500 homes in and around Idaho City will be without power. Idaho Power says it's repairing poles that were damaged by that mile marker 14 fire last month, but uh, some residents aren't too happy with the timing. KBOI 2's Lauren Clark joins us now with what people in the area can expect. Well, it's been a month now since this mile marker 14 fire struck near, I near Highway 21 here, but even though its flames are long gone, its impact is anything but. For Boise County resident Rick Lamica, getting this notice of a power outage brought That's emotions of frustration. Out. It's hot and smoky. For up to eight hours today, his home's power will be shut off, and the timing, he says, couldn't be worse. There's probably a better time to do it when we destined to have some smoke and some hot temperatures. Rick is one of the 2,500 homes north of the Hilltop Cafe on Highway 21 that will be without power. It's all an attempt to fix 12 poles that were severely damaged in the Mile Marker 14 fire that blazed through the area in late July. A representative for Idaho Power says these poles had needed to be fixed before a serious weather event or before school started. Wednesdays also aren't an option because that's when restaurants get large food deliveries. Preparing for today, restaurants will be throwing all of their food in a freezer, while fire camps will be run off of generators. Those living in the area will have to deal with it in a different way. So it does force people to leave their house or just grin and bear it. While some residents have generators, others are choosing to leave and come into Boise. And that's not a bad idea, according to fire manager Todd Johnson. The worst things we can do is uh, sit in a very hot place without good ventilation or good filtering. And we're not going to have filtering if we have uh, no electricity. Now, again, if you are in this area, they are expecting a six to eight hour power outage. Reporting live in Boise, Lauren Clark, KBOI 2 News. All right, thank you, Lauren.